Doing van life during a pandemic, well, it's a bit of a struggle. I think the hardest part for me is not having a shower or having easy access to one anyway. The dog, on the other hand, well, he has a few more options. He's actually living in the lap of luxury right now, even though he absolutely hates this. It's the second time I've been to this car wash, and the second time I pondered stripping down naked and having a bath myself. Are you okay, buddy? We got one more step to go. <laughs> and the one he hates the most, the blow dryer. Still my absolute favorite place to wash my dog. This in Port Coquitlam, BC. Yeah, at a car wash. How you feeling, buddy? How you feeling? He looks awfully white. Yesterday, he was completely brown. Weren't you, buddy? <laughs> my boy, hey? My boy, you feel better? He just had a bath, so he's good. clean you know stick your card in the machine you better clean it after <laughs> it's that time again to do another oil change in the van we are literally within like probably 20 kilometers of this little thing up here that tells me when it's time to get one uh i'm pretty close this time i look down i'm like hold on a second that number looks familiar and I looked up and my like, just about went over. Um, I take great pride in my van, so we make sure it gets serviced on time all the time. Oh, feels like summer today. Got my shorts on, bare feet, sunglasses on. It feels mighty good out here. Today's visit to the oil change place cost me $300 Canadian. That gave me a full synthetic oil change on the van. Plus we fixed up my leaky transmission pan, which is great. So when they dropped the pan, they put a new seal in it, cleaned out the pan, redid the filter in there. And um, there was very minimal metal shavings in the pan. So because my transmission has been slipping for over a year now, I thought there'd be more metal shavings in there than that. But hey man, so far the van's rolling every day. It slips maybe once a month, usually when I'm going up a hill sometimes. Other than that, the van has been in mint running condition. All right, we gotta go downtown and check my mailbox because a package I've been waiting for, oh, it's in, officially in. Some people complain because it takes me way too long to get to the point of the video that they read in the title. Easy now, guys. I vlog my every day. Sit back and enjoy the ride. Hi there, how are you? Hey, good. Can I have one cheeseburger, one plain hamburger, and can I have a regular size Oreo McFlurry? I know uh, that's good. Thank you. Don't judge me. The hamburgers for crews. <laughs> Put the McFlurry and cheeseburgers for me. You can sure hear the rattle when it bounces off the wall here. You hear that? Hey. On tap. Thank you. Tapping with the iPhone. I don't know how you guys pay, but I always use my Apple Pay on my phone. I just double tap the side, bang, there you go. This I couldn't have shown before because I never had dual phones now that I, I got a life here. <laughs> is it just me or is this whole mask thing on girls kind of a little bit on the hot side? That girl had some beautiful eyes back there. 
Maybe it's because we don't have anything else to distract us from things. When you look at somebody, when it's covered here, you actually look at them. It's kind of hot a little bit. Excited. Oh. Hurry before we get squished. Hurry up. Hurry up, unlock the door. Oh. Woohoo! Oh, it's the package I was waiting for. Alright, here it is. Oh, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> Good timing on the music, that's funny. I bought myself a proper gimbal. None of that gimbal on a stick sort of thing. This is called a Cinema Robot by Movi. Um, I did lots of research on uh, gimbals and uh, this is the one I chose to get. We got ourselves a new piece of gear for the channel and I am stoked on this. I've been thinking about a gimbal for the channel for a very long time. And I've always pondered it, I've always put it off. Um, I have used the DJI Osmo 3 and I just didn't like the whole tripod aspect to it because it's long and it's straight. And if you guys seen a video just the other day, I gave the DJI Osmo 3 that I had to Joseph and hopefully he gets to put some use to it. It was handed down to me and I handed it over to Joseph and if he doesn't need it, maybe he will hand it off to somebody else who might finally like it. I think when it comes to gimbals, you need to find one that fits with your filming style. So normally I have a tripod, which is what's holding my camera right now. I have a tripod and on my tripod, I always hold it. Most people just hold the tripod one handed I hold my tripod, then I hold my camera mounted to it. I'm a two-handed filmer. I find I get better shots when I hold it two-handed. It just feels real. This kind of feels like, kind of. So when I first seen this, probably a little over a year ago, uh, this is the Movi, other known as the Cinema Robot. Movi is actually, they make real full-blown cinema gimbals, like the ones they use in the big movies. Um, they have a huge line of professional gimbals and this is like their first cell phone version of one and uh, they're not cheap. This one here, by the time I landed it here in Canada, it was about $360. So the reason why I wanted this one, besides the build quality is just amazing. Like this is just a comfy rubber and uh, it's just solid and sturdy where a lot of the other ones just kind of felt very cheap. This is very robust, robust, it's badass, we'll call it that. So the reason why I wanted this one versus any of the other ones, because this one here allows me to hold it, the cell phone goes this way, and then this little section here is actually a spot for your hand. That's why it's rubberized and cozy. So I can double shot everything from here. This feels right. All right, let's, let me show you one more thing here before we pop my phone into it. I got this case from Moment. Moment is a cell phone lens company out of Seattle, Washington, our neighbor right over there. And um, I've been using the Moment wide angle lens on my iPhone 10 for two years now. Um, this little lens here, it's a legitimate piece of proper glass. If you're looking to get a lens for your cell phone, look at these guys, find them up online somewhere. They're called Moment. And I have these in my Amazon links down below, but go look at the Moment website. You can buy it directly from them. So because I already had this lens, I bought the iPhone 11 case, which is 50 bucks, I think. And all you do is you snap this, and now you've got a wide angle lens on your camera. So this works great if you have a, like iPhone XS Max or any older iPhone or any other phone that doesn't have a wide angle lens, like, this new 11 Pro's got the wide angle lens. 
Bang. So here's what I mean. So now I can double-handed shoot while having the gimbal keep my shots super, super smooth. So if I wanna get some nice padding shots, we all got stabilization. So now I have the gimbal's access motors trying to keep the steady shot, plus I've got my hand making this a little bit funner to move around, right? So that's why I chose this one, mainly because of this and the little joystick type feel and the ability to just stick it on a counter anytime I want to and walk away. You can't do that with a tripod gimbal. Anyway, <laughs> it's all I wanted to show you guys with this stuff today. I'm not one to get into all my camera gear. Maybe I will dive into this stuff a little bit later, but make an investment like this for me um, is just going to really help me with smoothing out some of my some of my scenery shots like the shots that I really want to get really smooth I can now smooth my game up with this thing here I've never had a gimbal nor have I ever used a gimbal two and a half years on YouTube this is the very first time so um, if you guys are ever looking at getting stuff like this do your research on things and know your filming style before you make purchases like this because the last thing you want to do is go out and spend 350 bucks or whatever it is in the US to buy one of these or actually the $2.99 in the US whatever they are but you want to make sure that you're getting the right what's the word I'm looking for you want to make sure you're getting the right product for the style that you're filming so because I'm going to be using this lens sometimes on this case the gimbal can't take the load of the lens on it so I also picked up Movi makes a this is pretty hardcore They make a counterweight kit. <laughs> so let me show you the picture on here. They make a little, you see the little counterweights right there? They make a counterweight kit so when I'm running um, either this lens that I do have or any larger lens on the iPhone, um, having the counterweight kit will actually allow me to put uh, a bigger lens on the opposite side. So yeah, anyway guys, thanks for hanging out with me today and seeing me buy my new toys and. I'll let you guys know what I think about this when the time comes. Um, I just downloaded the app for this on my phone, so I'll probably be playing with that somewhat tonight. Anyway, it's a beautiful day here in Vancouver. I think I'm going to go find myself a nice little spot by the water and uh, play around with my gimbal. All right, you guys. See you later. Because you guys are watching my videos on about a five-day delay, Patreon had the chance to see the gimbal the day I bought it. And there was a few questions. Chrome, I don't want to sound stupid, but what the heck is a gimbal? All right, let me explain it to you simple. It's got some thingamajiggers and some doohickeys, and you put your camera in those thingamajiggers, and then the doohickeys move around and turn to keep your camera stable. All right. <laughs> it's got a few motors, so when you're actually moving or walking with the camera, the motors do the best they can to try to keep your camera as stable as they can because anytime your body moves that's going to reflect in the camera movement as well so having a gimbal just kind of tries to smooth out everything oh damn look how cute that little guy is anyway you guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoy what we do consider coming over and visiting us on patreon or click the join button below this video and see what we do on youtube memberships <sighs> kind of nice buying new camera gear. It feels like I'm leveling the game up here on Van City Van Life. Hey, if I'm a bad camera guy, I'm a bad camera guy. The gimbal ain't gonna make me any better. Alright, we're done. Peace out.